Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will discuss what is the British Flag Theorem and how it is proved. So without further ado, let's begin with our topic. So according to the British Flag Theorem, if you have a point P, let's take the point P inside the rectangle over here, then sum of squares of the distance of the opposite two vertices is equal to the sum of squares of the distance of the other two vertices. So what this theorem is trying to say is that if we have a rectangle and let's name the vertices of the rectangle as A, B, C and D respectively, then sum of squares of the distance from A to P and P to C is equal to sum of squares of the distance from D to P and P to B. So according to the theorem, AP square plus PC square will always be equal to DP square plus PB square. So we can write down the equation as PA square plus PC square is equal to PD square plus PB square. And this very equation is known as the British flag theorem. So repeating myself once again, if we have a rectangle and there is a point P inside or outside the rectangle, then sum of squares of the distance from the opposite two vertices to the point P is equal to the sum of squares of the distance to the point P of the other two vertices. So the main point of the theorem is that P a square plus P c square is equal to P d square plus P b square and this point P can be inside or outside the rectangle, it doesn't matter. So for proving the theorem, let's take a rectangle A, B, C, D and let's take a point P inside the rectangle. So we have joined all the points A, P, P, B, P, C and P, D respectively. So our first step would be dropping perpendicular to all the four sides of the rectangle. So after dropping perpendicular to all the four sides of the rectangle, we will get a shape somewhat like this and we can name these points as W, X, Y and Z respectively. Now since these lines are perpendicular, we can say that all these angles are 90 degree. Now by using the Pythagoras theorem in the triangle AZP, what we will get is PA square is equal to AZ square plus ZP square. Now using the same thing in the triangle XPC, we will get PC square is equal to PX square plus XC square. Now over here, we can see that in the triangle ZPD, PD square is nothing but ZP square plus ZD square. Now we know that ZD is equal to XC because they are divided by the same perpendicular. So instead of ZP square plus XC square, we can write it down as PD square. Now we can do the same in the triangle PBX. In this triangle PBX, we can say that PB square is nothing but PX square plus BX square. Now instead of BX square, we can write it down as AZ square. This is because they are divided by the same perpendicular, so the length AZ and BX are same. So instead of AZ square plus PX square, we can write it down as PB square. And hence we have proved the British flag theorem that is PA square plus PC square is equal to PB square plus PD square. So done with the proof, let's solve a question so that this theorem will be clear to you. So I hope that you were able to solve the problem and let's check the solution for the problem. So what we are given is, we are given a triangle ABCD. So the name of the vertices are A, B, C and D respectively and we are given a point P inside the rectangle and the lengths of PA is equal to 1, PD is equal to 3, PB is equal to 4 and we are given a semicircle with a diameter as PC and we have to find out the area of this semicircle. So by using the British flag theorem, we can simply calculate the diameter of the semicircle and then we can find out the area of the semicircle. So first we have to find out the diameter PC. So we can say that 1 square plus PC square is equal to 3 square plus 4 square. So after calculation, the length of PC will come out to be under root of 24. So the diameter of the semicircle is equal to under root of 24 so the radius of the semicircle will be equal to under root of 6. Now we all know that the area of a semicircle is equal to pi r square by 2. So when we will put r is equal to root 6, we will get pi into 6 by 2. And after calculation, we will get our final answer as 3 pi. 
so the area of the semicircle is equal to 3 pi unit square. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASEAN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASEAN Academy. Oh, oh, oh.